Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, cross slide play uh, on your... This is a Hypermac 1550. It's a clone of a Colchester Triumph 2000. Clausing makes a branded one of this. And there's another machine, you know, the rainbow wheels are all very similar so this will go across be the same for any of these type of machines now i've been using this machine a lot since i got her going but there is like a full half turn almost a handle before it starts engaging so what you do is you got these two screws here that are holding down this is not exact, this is for representation. If you're not familiar with, I call them split nuts. For uh, most larger lays have a means for adjusting the wear in the uh, cross slide. And a lot of them are set up like this. This is off the big reed. And what's basically happening is you have the bolts that hold it in. And you have this little wedge guy. And you have a bolt on top that pushes that down as you can see you know there's not a great deal of spread in these I'm just one-handed here but, you know enough to make some adjustments to compensate for the wear in the nut now if you have a very worn cross slide shaft and then you go adjust it down you'll find it gets really tight on one side or the other where the uh, rod's in better shape so that's a sign of a worn shaft over a worn nut so what you do on these this is from looking at the pictures in my manual because there wasn't much information on these online is here's the adjustment screw a little socket head set screw these are holding it up. This is the movable one. It has a little bit of slot built in. So what you do, I've loosened this a little bit. You don't take it out or anything like that. Just get it so you can make it, make it move. And if you didn't watch my short video yesterday, the first thing I did with little set screws like that, especially that are recessed, I got the old one out. I didn't even try to tighten it before I removed it because it's a little buggered up and i've noticed a lot ever since torx bits became a lot more prevalent people won't even try to find the right allen bit they'll just jam a torx bit in things and it's <laughs> set screws are ruined an awful lot by that so then what we'll do take our allen one see it gets engaged and it turns nice and smooth i cleaned it out with a brake cleaner then uh, blew it out with air, then uh, lube down there. So it's turning nice and free. So I'll get you set up. And see if we can take some of you know this out of it. So there's a whole, according to the dial, there's like 70 thou of play. And that that's a touch excessive. So let me get you on the tripod and let's see what we can do about that. Okay. This isn't going to be super exciting. What I like to do is turn it down until I feel a little bit of resistance. I like to work the handle back and forth as I'm turning it. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. This is how I've always done it. So right now we're at 180. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, 70 thou, according to the dial, slop. So I'm just going to keep turning this, a quarter turn at a time. I'm going to turn it in quite a bit because remember I changed the set screw. Okay, now I'm trying to feel a little bit of resistance on the screw. And 20, 30, 40. Now we're down to about 40. So 
a quarter turn. 10, 20, 30, and about 35. Quarter turn. Ooh, that's getting nice now. Set. Another quarter turn. Oh, you can see that moving. Just for reference, there's 10. Yeah. It's getting smaller. Oh yeah. Now we're at about a we were about half a turn. Now we're about a quarter of a hand wheel, so we've taken about half the slop out of it. quarter of a turn. Can you guys see that? It's probably, I should have set up a micrometer or something. What I'm doing is turning that set screw quarter turn at a time. Popped off there. So now we're at okay it's moving. At 110. 110. 10, 20. So we've got down to about 25 thou of dial read. You want to always be able to feel resistance against that too. That is feeling really good. So let me get this snug back up and let's take a look at it. Okay, got our snug back up. See, so we get. There you see it moving a bit. Go back, moving the other way. I don't know if you can see that. So we got about an eighth, a little bit. A little under an eighth of a turn, so much better. And I might adjust that further. I'm going to actually uh, take a little bit of this apart and do some cleaning. But yeah, that is how you adjust. Oh, that's, that's so much better than it was. So much better. Because also, if you have excessive slop in this, and you go to cut, you know, this will actually move a little bit so you want to keep that adjusted nicely so yeah that's all there is to it a little set screw and then uh yeah just loosen off that guy this is adam small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching